Shotgun's got to be one of the fastest weapon classes to get done and one of the more mindless. But if you're looking for specific tips, timestamps will be in the description below. The reason why shotguns are the easiest to do is because there are only four you need to get gold in order to get platinum. The model 680, 725, R90, Origin 12. VLK Rogue is not required because it's a DLC weapon. Small maps are the best way to do this. Shimon and Shoe House are going to be your bread and butter in order to complete platinum shotguns. Hardcore is the best way to do this. Either play Hardcore Shimon or Shoe House. If the playlists aren't available, then play Hardcore Headquarters or Hardcore Domination. Since the games last the longest on Domination or Headquarters than any other game mode in this game. Shotgun Rundown is going to be me going through all the shotguns in the game, ranking from worst to best, and giving you some pros and cons. 725 comes fourth. The 725 has some pretty good pros with this range being the best out of all the shotguns and it does a lot of damage. But the cons I found with the two shots makes it really hard to do those quad feats. Model 680 comes third. Pros for the model is that the fire rate's decent and the ammo's pretty good and the aim down sight speed is also pretty good. But this gun just doesn't have that special feature that all the other shotguns have. It's the most well around shotgun. R90 second. R90 is second for me. It's a two shot pump shotgun. Pros that the mobility is the best of all the shotguns in the game. It has really good damage. Origin 12 first. Origin 12 is pretty good. The cons is a range, but the pros are the mobility is pretty solid, damage is pretty solid, and the ammo drum mag is what blows this gun out of the water. Spray paint. Kill 400 enemies. When I was going for spray paint, you don't even have to worry about it. When you do all the other camos and you're going for all your crouching kills and double kills and all of that, spray paint's just going to happen and you probably won't even realize that you have unlocked it until you see that gold that pops up. Difficulty? Easy. Woodland, you have to get 75 crouching kills. This is also really easy. Get your hip fire kills while you're going for these crouching kills. You can kill two birds with one stone with this method. It's the easiest way and most efficient way to complete the shotguns. You'll save yourself tons of hours just doing this. Just duck walk around, do this super easy. Difficulty, easy. Like I said before, do this with woodland and it will be super easy to do. You'll probably get your woodland, your digital, and your splinter all at once. Difficulty, super easy. Dragon was definitely by far the hardest one to complete for the challenges for the shotguns. I had to do this four times, so 200 point blank kills, and man, it was a nightmare. But one thing I found helpful was throwing smokes and then running into the smoke and just practically barrel stuffing the enemies just so it'll count. Sometimes it wouldn't even count as a point blank kill, it was kind of ridiculous. Difficulty, very hard. Splinter is very similar to spray paint, and this will probably come while you're doing your hip fires and your crouching kills all at once. Kind of nice to do three camels all at once. Difficulty? Easy. Topo was definitely one of the easier ones to complete. You only have to get 225 kills with all attachments. I'll put my favorite class setups right after this clip. Difficulty? Stupid easy. Tiger requires you to get 25 double kills. This is pretty easy with every shotgun in the game except for the 725. I can understand if you have trouble getting double kills with the 725 since it only has two bullets. What I suggest doing is throwing on sleight of hand. Just be aggressive when it comes to double kills. That's how you do it. It'll be the fastest and most efficient way for you to get this done. You'll probably wipe it out pretty quickly. Difficulty? Easy. Stripes requires you to get 30 kills shortly after reloading. This will come natural while using the 725. I suggest if you're not using the 725 and using the origin or something, take a shot right when you spawn and press square to automatically reload. It's the fastest way I did this and it did not take me that long at all. 
Although sometimes you won't be able to kill the guy right in front of you, maybe, because while you're reloading. I suggest throwing on sleight of hand on any shotgun just to make sure you do this. Difficulty, medium. Reptile requires you to get 110 kills with no attachments. This is where hardcore will become your best friend when it comes to these shotguns. Since you're playing hardcore, and just because shotguns are just stupidly overpowered in hardcore, it's just gonna make this really easy. Difficulty, easy. Skulls, three kills without dying 30 times. This is pretty easy if you're playing on Shoe House or Shipment. If you're playing one of those bigger maps like Piccadilly or something, it's gonna make this a lot harder and take a lot longer. So what I suggest to do is that if you get two kills in a row on one of those bigger maps, just camp and let the third guy come to you. Don't push him because most of the time you'll die. Difficulty, medium. Those are all the tips I have for getting the shotguns platinum. When I was going for this, I had shoot the ship available to me, so this I knocked this out all in a day and a half. Did not take me long at all. Like I said before at the start of the video though, if you guys don't have shoot the ship available to you, or shipment, or a shoe house, or anything available to you, I suggest going into Hardcore Domination or Hardcore Headquarters, since the games last a really long time for some reason. Domination and Headquarters, man, the games last like 10 minutes, so it's just super easy for you to get kills in that big amount of time. If you are watching this still, comment down below, Strack sucks at parkour. It's just, I, I just decided to put this in because I thought it was pretty funny. Leave a thumbs up if you guys did enjoy this video. It did take me a while to create this, so I hope you guys did enjoy. Subscribe if you guys are new, and I will see you guys in the next video.